Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Thompson with you here from the NBC 24 Weather Center with a quick update to your forecast. We had absolutely gorgeous weather for our Saturday afternoon, the first afternoon of the summer season. We saw beautiful temperatures, very comfortable around 80 degrees. The humidity was on the low side, so we'll definitely take that. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Let's show you what it looks like across the Great Lakes. Again, nice and quiet for us here in northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan. There is some active weather, though, just to our west. Some severe weather possible over towards portions of Illinois as a little complex of storms is starting to fire up late Saturday afternoon. We're keeping an eye on this little part right here that's up in portions of southeast Wisconsin. If we do see any rainfall overnight Saturday. This is probably the little section that may hit us because it is expected to dive its way down towards the south and east. It may just clip our western counties. So if you live near the Indiana border, you have a small chance of some rain tonight. However, the atmosphere is very stable on top of us here in northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan. So as these storms progress their way towards the east, those storms are expected to start weakening and uh, probably won't even uh, impact much of our area. So if you're along or east of I-75. I'm not expecting any rainfall overnight, and it's still only a small chance for our western counties. But you see that front there, that's going to start to lift its way back towards the north as we head towards the start of the work week, and that will bring a chance for a few more showers and thunderstorms. It's also going to really ramp up the heat and humidity again, especially by the time we get to the day on Monday. That's that front that's just been sort of wobbling back and forth here over the past several days. Let's take a look at your forecast. Again, I expect dry conditions for our Saturday evening. As we go through the overnight hours, there will be that slight chance across our western counties for maybe just a little bit in the way of some rainfall. But again, those will likely be fizzling their way out as they get anywhere near us. But Williams, Defiance, Paulding, and Van Wert counties, a slight chance of a shower overnight. As we go into the day on Sunday, I would discount any of these showers for Sunday morning. I think we're dry to start off the day. Maybe a very small chance of an isolated thunderstorm as we go throughout the day on Sunday, but again, the atmosphere not going to be very supportive of any widespread activity. So I do think the majority of us get through the day Sunday on the dry side. If we see anything, I think maybe a slightly better chance will come for Sunday night as that front will start to lift its way back towards the north, and that may fire off an isolated thunderstorm through our Sunday night into early Monday morning, and then we're really going to increase those storm chances, especially as we go towards Monday afternoon. That warm front lifts back towards the north. We're back in a hot and sticky and unstable air mass, so as we heat things up, the atmosphere becomes more and more unstable, so we could see some thunderstorms billowing up during the day, some heavy rainfall possible from those storms, and those chances expected to continue all the way through our Monday night. For the rest of our Saturday night, just uh, increasing clouds for the majority of us. Temperatures bottoming out in the low 60s with that very small chance for a storm for our western counties, but for the most part should be a quiet evening. And again, I do have an isolated chance for our Sunday, but I do think most of us stay dry. Partly sunny skies, very similar temperatures to what we saw out there for Saturday afternoon in the lower 80s. That's very seasonable for this time of year. Hot and humid for Monday, though, back in the upper 80s, a few spots likely cracking 90 degrees with those more widespread thunderstorm chances returning for Monday afternoon and Monday night. Continuing into the day on Tuesday, on Tuesday the cold front will start to make its way on through, so there'll be plenty of lifting mechanisms to keep the thunderstorms going across our area. So Tuesday will probably be the wettest day of the entire work week. After that, though, we do dry out for Wednesday and Thursday, and we fall back to more comfortable levels and seasonable levels with highs in the lower 80s. The humidity will drop off as well for Wednesday and Thursday. We are tracking another warm front, though, for next Friday, so temperatures likely returning to the mid 80s for Friday afternoon and potentially bringing some thunderstorm chances. For now, I have next weekend on the dry side. We may have to keep an eye on that, though. There will be some upper level energy near us. For now, it looks like those storms may pass to our north up into Michigan, but if there's any adjustment in the positioning of the upper level energy, we may have to throw in a few storms for next weekend. But as things stand right now, I'm going with dry conditions, but it will be fairly warm with highs in the mid to the upper 80s once we get past next Friday. So it's definitely the summertime season with a few of those daytime thunderstorm chances. But of course, we could use that rain every now and then. For the most part, really nothing too unusual for this time of year. That's your latest forecast. Thank you for logging on to NBC24.com.